Today we got a tutorial on how to do time lapses with QuickTime Pro 7 and Adobe After Effects CS6. Here's an example. Okay, so those weren't all exactly time lapses, but you get the idea. We're going to be going with these pictures right here that I ran through Photomatic. So there was actually three pictures, but they got combined to one each. Yeah, different, totally different subject, different tutorial. Don't worry about it. Just know that I got a bunch of pictures here, and we're going to open up QuickTime Player and say Open Image Sequence. I'm going to go up here to the first picture and say open. 30 frames at 29, 29, 9, 7 frames a second. And there we go. We have it. But it's not rendered or I don't understand why my computer can't play it, but it can't. It's a little stuttery. But you can go up here to export. We will do a um, we'll watch. We'll do an H. No, we'll do a. <laughs> I'm trying to think which one we want to do a quick time. Oh, we are doing a quick time. We'll do an H two sixty four. Okay, automatic hide. Okay. Okay. And save. All right, there we go. That outputted to somewhere. I can't remember where I saved it. To my desktop. And we have a time lapse. Or alternatively, we could come into Adobe After Effects, uh, double click right in this area to import the picture, and then just click on the first picture, and it'll automatically figure out that it's an image sequence. So drag it down here to New Composition, and you have an image sequence. So hit zero to RAM pr preview. And there's an image sequence. Um, and then you could go ahead and do like, I think that these pictures might have been edited already a little bit in Photoshop or something. So here you could do an adjustment layer though, and then do like an effect, uh, color correction, curves, and, come, and then you come up here and, you know, do whatever makes you comfortable. All right, do it a bunch. And then you can do like a uh, ellipse tool, double click it. Invert it, hit F, and feather it out. Mm. I don't know. I don't really care for that. But you get the idea. You can do any kind of your adjust, any kind of um effect over it. I don't have 
I don't have my plugins installed on CS6 yet. But then you just go up to um, composition, add to render queue. We'll do a quick dime. Yeah. H264. About 90% or so. Okay. Let's see where it's going to the desktop. Render. All right, the red red drag is done. So we'll go to the desktop. It's this file right here. I didn't set the aspect ratio on all right, but you get the idea. Oops. Um, not real sure why I did that. Oh, it's just, oh, yeah. All right, and there's how you make a time lapse.